Let's get the show on the road. The deciding mixed doubles. Let's I was just thinking about Croatia and Norway, two beautiful countries. Have you been to either? I haven't. They're on my bucket list. Don't you worry. Have you? I have not been to either, but I've heard so many good things about both. Mm. Yeah. I'm an outdoor person. I really do love the outdoors, the, the water, the mountains. Spectacular spots, both. Of course, Norway has uh, the best salmon river in the world for fishing, so that's definitely high on my priority list. That's Not something that I feel like from the last mixed doubles they played that Casper could do more often, and that's go that return straight down the line. Just the other day, just found himself struggling on return at different times throughout the match. Forty fifteen. Such a good way to keep the net player honest, isn't it? Sometimes it's tougher to volley when you're static. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got some momentum and you're cutting off the angles. Game to Croatia. Would make a great Croatia. centre in rugby. Would Ivan Dorek, he is such a well-proportioned athlete. He's so strong in his legs. Wood in the shoulders. Phenomenal athlete. Of course, in the early days when he started out, he used to sleep under bridges because he didn't have enough money to stay in hotels. Did it the hard way. He appreciates everything that he's got and everything that he's done. Hi, my mom. Hi, mom. So who's winning this one? Are you going with the win predictor or not? It's got the Croatians as slight favourites. Casper, yeah, and that would, representing would think to Norway. To a lot because of Dodig's prowess in doubles. And if you, if you look at these four players, there's no doubt that that man on screen there Love is the him. more experienced of all four. He knows his way around the doubles court. You can see here, any chance he gets, if Donna's going to make a return, he's going to be covering that middle part of the court. He's so close to the net, which is perfect positioning, cutting off the angle. Fifteen. You've got to think that his experience on this doubles court is going to help Team Croatia today. Oh. Thirteen, fifteen. Bit of trivia. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> Who did Eva beat to win the French Open? Do you remember? What year was it? 97. Martina Hinch. Oh, Wally. Was it? I mean, I was waiting to introduce Wally and he just dives right <laughs> in there. Well, Robbie, I'm actually sitting here with hurt feelings because you talked about the four ball and here I was just sitting quietly thinking for sure. Robbie's going to invite me to that four ball, but nothing. I got no. nothing. Don't know. <laughs> and further to that, Robbie, I've oh, done gee, the trip from Oslo to Bergen by train, and it is spectacular. Hired a car in Bergen, mm -hmm. drove up to Flam, and it is, which is on the fjords, 
and you are right. Norway is one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and the people are very nice too. Well, he's got to be one of the smartest guys I've ever commentated with. He's got a wealth of knowledge outside of tennis. He keeps you honest, man. You've got to be on your toes with that guy. You never have a dull conversation with Wally. Good start from Casper. Nice, comfortable hold in the end. It's one apiece. Interesting, Casey made the point, you know, that maybe uh, Rude should kind of line up Donna a little bit at the net off return in particular. And I sometimes think with a player like Dirty too, you're almost better going straight at him. Um, getting back to that fact that sometimes it's harder to hit a volley static than when you're on the run. Yeah, and when you are playing mixed, and I always felt this, that you just have to commit to shot. If you're going to go hard and fast down the line, or you're going to go hard and fast down the middle, because you always know that particularly the male player is going to be moving around, going to try and get your peripheral vision. So you've got to pick a spot. And I agree, Wally, you've got to pick it and go hard. And not always try and go around. Yeah, I just looked at Casper on that last couple of points ago. He had a forehand. I thought, look, just line up Dodi as you did Vekic in the previous game. Mm. I think, too, if you line them up early, it sort of sends a message that, hey, if you go, I'm not afraid to go down your line. Talk about being committed to a shot. This is a double-handed slammer. What is that in? Well, he must have been listening to you courtside, perhaps, Wally, because it's exactly what you were talking about on the return there. job in this game of keeping Dodic honest. Really strong play here from Akiri. She played really well out of this backhand corner the other day. And again, I like that she's just committed to that down the line. Gender to gender on the deciding points. Game. What a game. Some pyrotechnic tennis from the Norwegians. Deservedly getting the early break and going up two games to one. Well, it doesn't get much better on New Year's than the Sydney Harbour area. It is a special place on the planet when the New Year rolls around. It's seven million Australian dollars get spent on fireworks and they reckon about a million people will get a, a viewing of this did you see much case I didn't I saw the 9 p.m. ones on TV they were brilliant I've lived in Sydney for 15 years and I, I'm yet to see them live so that'll be as well on my bucket list one year that's an unforced error I think I put it down <laughs> as unforced error of the fifth line. Yes. I'm always playing tennis or working or doing something. Okay. 
Ricky yeah, sitting there, Ricky time. behind. It's Alex Tober with uh, the silver here. So Alex has just joined Team Root. Casper with a couple of injuries in 2023 and looking to alleviate those, have someone travel with them full time, of course. Stobes is one of the best in the business, worked with so many elite athletes. Nicely done from Team Norway. As I mentioned, Akira out of that back end corner is really solid and great to see Kasper getting involved. I'd like to see him maybe a tad closer to the net, but great job helping his partner out there. Fortuna. break but they back it up with the love hold in your face oh, back in yours back in yours well donna has to expect all of these to come at her just happy with that really Good. Such good peripheral vision from Ikeri. Not a tough, a tough shot to execute. Running forward, had to get the rack face underneath the ball, over the head. Well played. You don't want to undercook that lob either, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> in trouble. 15. Yeah, you're so close to the net when you hit it. If it's a little short. There's a strong possibility the next one is going to be tattooed to your back. Players lighting it up on center stage. 13 15. A couple of goes at it to Croatia. right out of the top draw. That's you. Yeah, wonderful play. This has been high quality mixed doubles. This one rips it across his body. But what about the returning from Akiri? Really giving Team Norway a chance here again on Dodig's serve. Oh, 
2014. It's making these points so spectacular that everyone's involved, right? Yeah, and I love that from Tino. I didn't see much of that the other day in the mixed doubles, but I love that the chip lob followed it forward. Got a bit lucky there with the net court. Couldn't believe he had so much time in the end. Starting point. I mean, such intelligent tennis, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. She used her racket as defense in that process. Touched. Okay, deciding points. Doddig. It's a rude. She's pegged to. Team Croatia. One for one. Team Norway, three games to two. Great reflexes. I think I can safely say that Donna was cranky about being lined up in the previous point, and she definitely went hard. Had I carry there, that's for sure. She did, didn't she? Had options, was, but she had eyes for the prize. Yeah, that was intentional, but that's part of tennis, isn't it? I actually thought it got her in the head. So did it, I. It only got her in the shoulder. Shoulder. You know what I like? She didn't turn her back, though. She was almost in a compromised position after the previous move, right? She was so low down. It's one of those positions where it's tough to get out of quickly, yeah. isn't it, Casey? Yeah, you're right. Oh, she's happy now. <laughs> yeah, I got you back. We'll have a bit of competitiveness amongst us all. We used to play stingers in the playground at school. What's that? When you throw the ball and you've got to try and hit... Dodgeball, you mean? Dodgeball, yeah. Yeah, stingers, always. Yeah. I play it with my kids now. Yep. It's never great when you when you get hit, especially with a wet tennis ball, it stings. But you feel a lot Time. better when you've pegged to one of your brothers or sisters or your friends thereafter, right? Same scenario here. So it's been a highly competitive affair after five games. Team Norway with the early break. Love 15. Really explosive and 13, looking 15. to come forward much more in this mixed doubles as opposed to the one the other day. They actually lost Casper's serve three times in the previous mixed doubles. Lots of opportunities. I think they were even serving for the first set on his serve. They lost it. A bit more presence on serve today. 14, 15. 
isn't it your partner's fault when you lose serve? Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my excuse anyway. Help me out. Come on, man. Okay, see Norway. I'll tell you what, they have been no super efficient behind their respective deals. What do you think about the gender to gender, Robbie? Um, In mixed doubles for the deciding point. I've never really thought about it because it's always been that way. Yeah. But if what happens if you return better than me? I, I, I want you to return. Yeah, well, that's my thought. I think it should be up to the team, right? Okay. A team decision. What happens if you're transgender? Oh, now you're complicating things, Wally. Yeah, I'd, probably, I'd actually probably prefer receiver's choice. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Receiver's choice, team decision. I only say it because Akiri the other day Freaking was returning awesome. superb. Both men and women serve. And today, same thing off that backhand side. She just has returned superbly. serving to you but this return back down the line has been so effective for team Norway look at the court position as well that's great to meet her inside taking time away from the net player as well tougher to move And I feel like Team Norway, it's been a conscious decision, hasn't it? So from the get-go, to go down the line of Dodik, and just keep him honest there. One thing you can be sure of, and... Casey alluded to the experience that Dodik has as he's just not going to stop moving. He's going to say to Team Norway, OK, you're going to have to keep beating me down the line. Sometimes I'm going to stay. But I'm certainly not going to be static. And so far, the shot selection, I mean, how good is Using that the turn points. lob? It's not something you think of normally on a, a chip lob, but just a cross-court bunt there. Using the greatest amount of court to head into on the diagonal. So here we go again, gender to gender. These guys have been clutch when it matters most. And perhaps against the thoughts of the statisticians, it's Team Norway who have got a double break and lead 5 2. deliver a return. You can see even if Dodig is not crossing there, the return has been hit so well, he doesn't stand a chance. Yes, please, says Captain Christian. Vi 
pretty impressed with Aikiri's movement off the ball as well. You talk about that little lob, Robbie, that she threw in there, and then just as the lob's floating over the head of Dodig, she charges in. She just puts herself in the right place. She cuts down angles, and uh, she's got a really good court sense, particularly for this mixed doubles situation. movement so important in the tandem form of the sport new balls serving for the set 15. and they've hardly put a foot wrong no and i don't want to jinx them because i know what always happens but akiri when you're making first serves as well it just Makes things so much Third easier to hold the woman serve. Doubles with the Norwegians against the Netherlands. It's a very experienced doubles pairing of Schurz and Kuhlhoff beat them 7 6, 7 5. And we know they are both top, top doubles players. Yeah. But their prowess and first, uh, on the dubs court today has been second to none. What an outstanding set of tennis. Six Almost mixed doubles perfection. 6 2, they bag the opener. So, not only are these guys on their game, but the DJ is very much on his game. And I know uh, Casey knows who sings this. I'm not so sure Wally has got the same musical knowledge as Casey. Wally? Well, Wally contemplates the DJ's choice of music. It's, uh, is that ACDC? It's very loud down here. I can barely, it's so loud I can barely hear it. It is. Well done. First serve percentage. Thought they had got a lot of first serves in. Well, they certainly did. 100% and winning 84%. It's going to be a pretty clean sheet and a 6 2 set when you're serving like that in a mixed doubles. Really did come down to that. They controlled their service games. They broke Donovekic twice. And that was a pretty solid, clean set from the Norwegians. That's outrageous. 100% first serves in. Yeah. Yeah, I thought when Akiri was serving, I thought, I'm not sure that they've missed a first serve. But that was the, the back at you volley straight through. But what's great returning from both Casper and from Akiri. Finished off a really solid serving clinic. Then. Casper's camp is delighted his... Uh, Mum and girlfriend keeping a BDR on proceedings. Here we go, set number two. Croatia to start it off.
Uh, Robbie, at the start of the match, you were just talking about the, the journey of Ivan Dodig, and of course he had a really good singles career prior to focusing on doubles, and uh, I used to really like watching him play because this guy tried as hard as anybody has ever tried on a tennis court. He would end up in the stands, in the net, in the umpire's chair. He just chased everything like his life depended on it. And he forged a career just through effort. Yeah, it's, it is such a good story. I remember commentating on that match against Rafa in Canada, serving and volleying, coming at him. It's brilliant to watch. Game. Two, Somebody you definitely want on your team, whether he was playing singles for his country, doubles, mixed doubles, you'd want him in your corner. He's just one of those guys. Nice play there from Dodig. Just, she has such a uh, positive returning position. Ikea, she's right up on the baseline. He just fired that one at the body. No chance at a swing. So let's see what the, the wind predictor says now. It's it's changed its tune. It swings a little too wildly for my liking, this swing predictor. Yeah, especially in this format. We just see it so often. You might get one set in mixed doubles, but they only have to win one more set, and it feels like it's such an even contest before that super tie break. 15 line. <laughs> Ivan Dodig has won the Davis Cup, speaking of team competitions, so back in 2018. Silver medalist at the Tokyo Olympics and the men's dubs. And this team continues to rain down first serves on their opponents. The thing about this first serve percentage is uh, it's not as though he's just rolling them in, three quarter serving just to be consistent. I mean, he's up over 190, nudging 200. Surely after that compliment, he'll miss a first serve. <laughs> it's coming. It just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? When you, you can see how many volleys Akiri's had at the net purely based on the fact that of that high five, High percentage of first serves and same and vice versa when Akiri is serving. One game on. I wonder if they're actually aware of the fact that they haven't missed the first serve yet. I think they are. There's, they've been looking at the data and the iPads for most of the day. So I reckon they would. They had a bit of a giggle before, so maybe. I'm pretty sure that was one of the tips Wally always gave me, was a high percentage. Something about first serves. Momentum, but it, it's interesting because it, going back, you know, players would serve and volley. So the idea was that you take a little off your first serve to be consistent and give yourself a bit of time to get in. But now it's changed. But serving and staying back, he, he's just not holding back Casper Ruud. I mean, he's unleashing on these first serves, so he certainly found his rhythm. Good thing. Thank you. 
Captain of Croatia, Eva Maioli. Good to see them mixing it up a little bit with, they've obviously lost on a serve twice, mixing in some eye formation. She's obviously, there we can see that first serve percentage, 100% for Team Norway. She's very used to standing a little bit closer to the centre tee, primarily because she's a singles player. 40, 30. Lurking with intent there. Cleaning up anything around that centre server strap. Oh. Shanks a lot. It wasn't the most cleanly hit backhand, but I feel like there was commitment to going down the line, and sometimes you get rewarded for that. Just dropping in. Another deciding point. Agenda to agenda. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, I would have bet my so. house on it. That Rue would have pummeled that forehand. That's the Team second easy one he's missed. He cannot ball. believe it. I thought he'd go high and heavy. The previous one was high and heavy, and Donna just not used to that kind of spin. Framed it. I thought he'd just go there again, but he tried to flatten it out. He had no, no pace to work with. Yeah, I put a little asterisk alongside mm. that point, Wally. <laughs> I mean, Casey mentioned it. Casper served for the first. I think he actually served in the second and was broken too, serving for the set. So, you know, maybe he's the weak link. Well, he missed about three overheads as well, Wally, throughout that match. And from the back of the court, he felt I felt like he was pressing a lot as, as opposed to, as you said, sometimes using that higher ball, hitting through the player at the net, but he's been much, much better today. <laughs> Just got the contact wrong, a little too thin. A bit like you, Robbie, sometimes off tight lies. Just a bit thin. Yeah, thinner to win it, though. It's better than the old chunk, isn't it? You're a bit more familiar with those. Time. Another look, of course, today here in Sydney. Some breeze about. The locals are used to very good weather, generally at this time of the year. But uh, I guess a little bit of respite from the sun is okay. is the first missed first serve from that team, from both of them. Not just like Curry. So she loves.
I don't know if I'm imagining it, but Aikri, she almost hits a knuckleball. Like, there's not a lot of pace on it. That was 118. It's almost as though Vekic and Dodig aren't appreciating the pace. You mean the lack of pace? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. she hits it in the right spot. She doesn't hit it tremendously hard. There's not a lot of spin. You can almost read the brand of the ball as it's coming, but... Vekic certainly handled that one well, which was not bad up at round shoulder height. Just the lean there from Rude, giving us some space. Feeling a shift courtside. That missed forehand from Casper. Previous game. The mood has changed. Hmm. Oh, look, great response from Akiri from after a double fold. Didn't try and overplay that serve. Just 131, as you said, Wally. Not a huge amount of pace, but she got some movement. Got Vekic on stretch, and that should absolutely be Casper's overhead all day. Here. Another deciding point. Nikari to Vekic. That missed forehand could be a major plot point in the outcome of the set. Team Croatia. Team Croatia lead three, games to one. And for the first time, Team Norway get broken. Wally, what do you make of the Dodig serve, just from a, a technical perspective? He's not the tallest guy, is he? No, but it's very physical. I mean, there's a, there's a huge knee bend. Pushes the hip out into the court, good yep. rotation. I mean, he, he kind of maximises, I think, given his build and his height, he sort of maximises the serve pretty well. Yeah, See it. the big rotation there, the big knee bend. Drives up and over. Ball toss is pretty good. Just lands inside the court. Doesn't throw it too far in front. Gets good shape. Carefully on the courtside microphones, you will hear constant encouragement when her team hits a good shot. Bravo, bravo from Eva. Look at 
doubles of her curry at the moment. There's I curry. Team Croatia. Team Croatia lead. He's taken the ball by the horns. And they have raced to a 4 1 lead in the second set. It just felt like everything changed on that missed forehand all of a sudden. As though Team Croatia felt like luck was on their side. A little bit of good fortune. And they've jumped, pounced. Yeah, we've all been around tennis long enough, haven't we, to know key moments in matches, momentum swings and changes, and that was certainly one where you just felt Team Norway had built such a good streak of games on serve, such big momentum and a real chance there, but suddenly changes very quickly. Playing a bit of kiss down here, courtside, Robbie. That'd be right up your alley, wouldn't it? Gene yeah. Simmons, oh. Ace Freely. <laughs> Tell you what, I definitely want you on my quiz team when it comes to music. Yeah. Robbie, we won trivia at the Manly Bolo the other night. Did you? Yeah, my family. Didn't have the phone and Google out, Wally. No, we play by the rules case. We okay. try to do it right. I thought it was a little offensive even asking you there, Walt. Oh, I just got to check in, you it's know. Right. He's old school. She knows me too well. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Too many volleys when you're that close to the net. 15. Thirty left. Speaking about Dodic serve, Wally. Casper with the lower ball toss, quick actions. It, it seems a few more players are going that way. And not too dissimilar to Nick Kyrgios serve and that it's the quick release. Yannick Sinner heading in that direction as well. Yeah, we had a bit of a look at it during his singles, and it, 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 he just catches it at the very apex of the toss. Very quick motion. Got to be fast to catch up with the low ball toss. Certainly worked well for him today. Pace, he's generating plenty of pace. He can serve up over 200. He served one at 208 in singles, and consistently around 195 plus, and good percentages. Yeah, my fellow countryman Lloyd Harris very good serve, also that sort of action. Some good aerial activity from Ivan. See the feet, the positioning, the eyes.
great rally, but Casper hit an out ball. Pure reflex. He just didn't even have time to think, but he hit a ball that would have gone six foot long. That one. Everyone's involved. There's too much time to think about that last forehand. Fortilab. Casper's just got to have faith in his partner. I think it might be a bit like the previous mix where he felt like he had to do too much. Just play within yourself as he did in the first set. Ikiri has just not put a foot wrong. No, she didn't in the previous one either. She did a fantastic job, I thought. Fourteen of you. Volley. That's the kind of point we were expecting from Casper a few games ago. When he lines it up, he usually delivers. Just oh. deciding points. Such plot points in the outcome of sets and matches, these deciding points. Oh, it's one of her best serves when it matters most. Team Croatia. And team Donna five keeps two Team Croatia seven. moving in the right direction. We're a game away from taking us into a match tie break. Oh, so many great swimming spots in Sydney. Over 100 beaches and swimming pools in the greater Sydney area. So many iconic pools along the coastline, such as the Bondi Iceberg Pools and the Bronte Bars. And you've got harborside pools like Mission Point. How was it manly the other day? And uh, tell you what, that was world class. Shelley Beach just down the way. Your favourite spot where you take the kids, Case? Oh, we like Mam Pool, which is Maroubra. It's a great swimming spot as well. Maroubra Beach. We've got a nice rock pool at Malabar as well. So choices are endless. Wally, do you know anything about the Manly area? I know a little, and I know, look, Casey's on the south side, I'm on the north side, and we would never, never. cross the bridge you need to your meet. No. Yeah. Let's see it. Casey, you stay down there, yeah. I'll stay up there. <laughs> You've got to stay local oh, with your swim so spots. True. You were telling me just the other day that variety is the spice of life, Wally. <laughs> not in Sydney. Not, not in Sydney traffic, anyway. <laughs> Two five. Oh. oh, look at that. 
15 love. That was a great point from Imperia. I've loved watching her play in this mixed doubles and the previous one. I love her courage. She's willing to come forward. She's got great awareness. She follows this one up because she knows it's going to pop right there. She would energize you as a partner, wouldn't she? Absolutely. I think that's the joy of this format. You often get to see as well like a, a few maybe players that you wouldn't normally or necessarily watch a lot of or get to see. Again, worth reiterating that it is down to the mixed doubles to decide the outcome of this tie. Donna Vekic running the women's signals, singles for Team Croatia. Kasper Rude running the men's singles for Team Norway. Tie stands at one apiece right now. So it's all on the line with the mixed. Norway have played a tie already. Remember, they lost to the Netherlands. 40, 30. I'm all Game to Norway. New balls, please. Oh, order Team Croatia lead on five against the three. And I get one more look at Team Croatia serve. This way. Even with the added advantage of serving with some new AO balls. Slightly quicker through the air. Felt as new and tight to the rubber. to win that opening point against the server when they're trying to serve out. As I said, just puts additional pressure on them when they step up to the line. Yes, please. Love How about in. that? <laughs> that is a brilliant shot. Absolutely not easy to play at all on the service line and just has enough finesse to dink it over the head right on the baseline. There you go. Robbie, we discussed the serve of Dodig before. He's serving you with new balls, and there's just one little thing I'd like to add. 
his grip is probably a little bit too more more inclined to the forehand that I would like. It's not quite continental enough. Yes. Left for serve. There haven't been that many aces for the Croats, but that was a valuable one. Beautifully. Set point. Let's for service. That is a and super second. second serve, team Croatia. Team Croatia level things up at a set of piece. Six and three, one set all. That will be a, a deciding ten point the match, match tie break that decides the outcome of tiebreak. this one. Just as was the case yesterday between Canada and Chile. Some of the statistics for set number two. Obviously, first serve percentage dropped from Team Norway. First serve percentage points won. A few more for the Croatians. A couple of aces as well. Obviously got the one break of serve, and, and that was enough for them to win the second set, 6-3. Quality first set if you weren't with us. Ikari and Rude not missing a single first serve between them. Great net play from all concerned, the hands. Dodig really making his presence being felt in the full court. Okay, we've seen them for about an hour now. Who's your pick? to win it. Casey, I'm starting with you. And I want to know who the MVP of this match tiebreak is going to be. Oh, of, the, of the actual tiebreak? Yes. Who's going to be the difference Time. maker? Okay, I'm going to just take a bold prediction and think that Team Norway is actually going to get up in this match. Yep. And Akiri is going to keep the form that she has. Final like set match tiebreak. Let's see how this one shakes out. One, zero, team Good Norway. start, he knows it. Love his body language. Never gets too jacked up, never gets down on himself, but always trying to affirm in the positive as Casper. Well, a tendency or feeling as to which team might come out on top here. I'm going to go the other way. 
I'm leaning towards Team Croatia. A bit of momentum. A bit of more doubles experience with Dodik. That was a s series of mishits, but they're all brilliant. <laughs> all off the frame, Two but all went into interesting spots. Team Croatia. It is great how everyone has been involved throughout this entirety of this match. They're so hard to pick these super tie breaks, aren't they? The year that we won Roland Garros, we won every super tie break, and I do not know how, but that's just the joy of them. a proper forehand. Yeah. Tell you what, you need a strong form to volley that. Aikri has a very interesting ball toss and uh, I get a bit nervous. On the second serve, she sort of holds the, the ball right at the tip of the racket, almost throws it out of the back of the hand. It looks a little awkward. Let's for so. Please. Just a piece of paper that has I think, fallen on the umpire's chair. Three two team Croatia. I'm not happy with some of those ball tosses, just as you were alluding to there, Wally. Well, it's tension. You know, if your technique is really, really sound, tension can creep in, but it won't bother you. But when you've got a little bit of funk going on and then a bit of tension creeps in, that is an awkward ball toss. It's not natural. for both of you here. You can only have one or the other. Would you either have poor technique but be really strong mentally under pressure or would you have great technique but be weak mentally under pressure? Uh, that's a really tough question because it depends how bad the technique is in terms of injury. If I was going to sustain an injury from no, the Just in the moment of pressure. <laughs> I'd rather be mentally tough. I feel like being mentally tough goes a long way in tennis. Me too. In life, mentally tough for me. Yep. I think it trumps technique. I'm going to disagree because I'm just in a bit of an argument. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh, oh, prod, prod the bear. Prod yeah. the bear. back from the adversity now of missing the forehand.
by three to Norway. He's hardly used that serve for a first serve. So smart. So smart. I remember him using it so much at the US Open when he made that final, the heavy kicker out wide. Backhand volley hasn't been conventional there from my career, but look how well she does to make it. Half oh, volley. She just has a knack of putting the ball in the right spot. Yeah. Like she was in trouble and she just asked a tough question right back. That's experience, isn't it? He, he just hit those two first serves with shape, made sure he hit his spots. Yep. Didn't want to hit a second serve in a pressure moment like that, and he's put his team right back in it now. So these two points will go a long way to determining the outcome of this tiebreak. Just like we saw in the Canada-Chile match tie break, there is nothing to choose between the two teams when they change ends for a second time. Remember, this is the first match for Team Croatia. Norway losing to the Netherlands. Again, in the mixed. They need to win here. Good serve, wasn't it? Considering the moment, it was only 117, but at least it was a first serve. And she slid it a little bit into the body. And Vekic, well, she missed the return. It almost sounds like a miss it when she hits the serve, doesn't it? Yeah. Seven all. This is a real cat and mouse decision now. It does rude. Try and pull it up the line. Is Dotty going to cross? These are the thoughts that are going through your head as the returner. Oh, he flushes it. 8 7 to Norway. His go to is that little shuffle and then forward and across. He kind of leans left like he's in a cover line, but it's nine times out of ten, forward and across. Got burnt. Two points away. Oh. Oh. 
a good eye. No panic volley there. To Norway. And it could have been easy to. So often you put your hand up as a reflex. Two match points for Team Norway. Team Norway rocking the house in Sydney. 6-2, 3-6, 10-7. They win it with the mixed doubles. 10-7 in the match tie break. What an enthralling encounter that was. Two days running. The mixed chair has been outstanding. And it has been the decider. It's Team Norway who prevailed. Oh, good on them. They deserve that win. Makes the pool and the group very interesting now. But they really deserve that. I thought Akiri played fantastic tennis. Casper's level there in that mixed doubles was so much better than the other day, and they thoroughly deserve that win. They didn't, didn't hold back. No regrets. You've got to do that in mixed doubles, and I'm super happy for them. Couldn't agree with you more. So impressed by Kari. Uh, there was a little wobble in the match tiebreaker, but then she's centered herself. Mum and girlfriend of oh, Casper are delighted. Hugs all around, half halves. Feel good factor in the team will be right up there. I think it's fair to say they were the underdogs coming into the mix, but boy. That they get themselves off to a good start. Some fantastic serving. I think Team Croatia might have been surprised at how well their opponents performed. He's going to be a little disappointed. He's uh, the number two ranked doubles player in the world. Just couldn't pull his team over the line. It's always nice discussing each point. Remember that one, remember I this think one. He's, I think he's specifically talking about that backhand winner off that serve that he just crunched to then give himself two two points on serve that was a clean backhand winner wasn't it but they feel good and you want to chat about them well they've taken care of team croatia now can they take care of wally masur team norway fantastic ulrika never in doubt <laughs> Wow, that was close, you know. Um, uh, Kasper was playing so well at the end. I'm just, uh, I'm really happy we were able to pull through, yeah. <laughs> well, Kasper was playing well. I thought you were playing brilliantly throughout. You, you just have a really innate understanding of the mixed doubles court. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I've done well in mixed doubles before and I, I, my focus is mainly doubles. So I love to play doubles and uh, I'm really happy we were able to play such a good match against such great players. So it was not easy today. Yeah. You guys served brilliantly to start. You were actually 100% first serves in, both of you, in the first set, leading into the second set. And you were not holding back on your serve, up around 200. I mean, that's quite an extraordinary statistic. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I was pretty fresh from the single, so I was still warm and my shoulder was feeling fine. So why not? Um, we were playing for the win. We were, we were close, I think, against the, Net the Netherlands. Uh, it was another close mixed doubles match. I went uh, against our favor. So we tried to come out here and win this one, and luckily we did. It was great. It was really fun to play with Ulrike, and um, I hope we can play more in the future. Well, you've given yourselves a chance. Obviously, yeah. what happens in the next match will determine it. Just to change subject a little bit, New Year's Eve last night, first win uh, for 2024. Um, did you get a chance as a team to celebrate at all, or game on? We celebrated. We saw the fireworks at 9 uh, p.m. Uh, that's a good thing with Sydney, that you can watch it at 9 and 12. So uh, we watched the early one. We had a nice dinner with the team. We prepared and got ready, and it worked out well. We, we got a victory, first one for Norway in the United Cup history, so we're really happy. Yeah, well, good energy today. Great to watch. Very, very exciting. And you'd have to say this format has got it right, wouldn't you? Because the mix is absolutely crucial. Oh, yes, it is. I mean, uh, and with Casper on our team, I feel like we can beat anyone. So it just gives us, uh, you know, we're a small country, but we have belief we can actually beat every team with Casper. So, yeah. It's not all about Casper, trust me. No, no, you were great today. Yeah, no, it's not all about me. No. Well done, guys. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.